Guys, it is cold this morning. I slept in the Beaver's Bend National Park last night, but I didn't pay for camping, I paid for parking. The rules were a little loose about that because most people around here don't live in their vehicles. Last time we were down here, the chick who like, I guess, stops you if or charges you the I guess you'd be the, like the parking meter. She um told us basically that if we pay for parking, we can kind of park wherever we want and sleep wherever we want as far as that goes. Um, but I didn't want someone knocking on my window in the middle of the night being like, hey, you can't, you know, stay here overnight or whatever you're doing. But nobody bothered me, so I guess we're safe. Except for the fact that it's freezing outside. I don't know. It's freezing in here. I don't know what it is outside. Something used to bother me a lot. Still kind of does. In case you don't know, I worked at Chick fil A for like three years or so. There are a lot of people out there who will just go into a restaurant, eat their food, and then just leave a huge mess. I mean, crumbs everywhere. You know, like they don't even get their stuff together. And usually their biggest reason is because, well, you know, we paid them to clean it up. and you really didn't my problem with it is usually like I'm busy I have stuff other stuff to clean I have other things to do and I'm trying to seat more people so then when I have people standing waiting to be seated and you just left your trash everywhere all over the table <sighs> the point I'm trying to get to is just if you go into a restaurant please clean your mess stack the plates if you can like I get if you're busy or whatever but some people just at one time some mom brought in an avocado for her kid the kid wiped it all over, like she moved it all over the table and she just left that there. I mean, there was avocado on the floor, all over the table. Just clean up after yourself, please. As much as I love places like Colorado and Utah and all those amazing big states, Oklahoma has been a little bit nostalgic for me. The biggest reason being is it kind of relates back to my origins of why I love this stuff in the first place. You see, I didn't really grow up in those big, beautiful nature areas like some of these people. I've never been to Oregon, and I've been to Colorado, but not up in the rocky spot. And I didn't really grow up around any of those big, natural, beautiful nature areas. For the first 10 years of my life, I grew up in Kansas and when I was a kid, I would explore the forest in that area. There was a park that I used to go to where there was a pond that would lead into a creek. And we used to just walk along that creek for hours, just exploring the forest with the water. And being down here in Beaver's Bend really let me reflect back on that. It took me back to the time when I was in middle school and I would just go out into the middle of the forest and just follow creeks. It was just an overall magical experience for me and I really enjoyed being out here. As much as I still want to go out to these beautiful nature areas, I had a great time down in Oklahoma. After taking a little bit of a hike through Beaver's Bend, I got a call from my grandpa and said that he's coming down for Easter weekend and before he heads down to see his mom, he wanted to come by and see me, so. So, Trip. 
Hi, Hello. Do you like to drive up here? Huh? Do you like to drive up here? Yeah, it's too slow. Super cool seeing him, and thanks for the dinner. After that, I was stuffed, and... I was trying to find a place for us to go camping for tomorrow, but um, I ended up getting lost driving around and ended up just landing right back to Old Faithful the place where we met up for La Bonita Hambari. Still an amazing spot, definitely going to be stuck in my memory for a long time. I have enjoyed every minute of it and it's definitely going to be a staple for the future. But for now, I'm just going to keep enjoying it. <laughs> 